This Volkswagen Polo is arguably the most upmarket small car that you can buy. It's refined, stylish and depending on which engine you choose can be incredibly frugal or delightfully quick. Much of the look and layout inside echoes that of the VW Golf a high quality car itself. It works so well that many buyers should consider whether they need the extra space of a Golf when this 34 scale replica does a very similar job just as well. Quiet and refined one of the Polo's strengths when on the move is its lack of wind and road noise. It's great on the motorway where it feels as quiet and refined as a larger car, while the light steering and good visibility make it ideal for driving in town. There's a decent amount of space inside, with plenty of head and leg room for four adults or two adults and three children. It's not the most exciting place in the world to sit. The dashboard design is the usual and adorned, nonsense fare you'd expect from Volkswagen, but it has a high quality feel and is well laid out. Digital radio as standard a built-in sat-nav system is available as an option and DAB radio is standard across the Polo range from the 2013 model year onwards in preparation for the planned digital radio switch over. Although the Polo is a little on the pricey side to buy brand new, it claws some of the initial outlay back on resale values which are strong. It was one of the first small cars to achieve a 5-star rating from the Euroncap safety body on its launch in 2009, with a 90% score for adult occupant protection. Facelift in 2014 and early 2014 a facelift was announced for the Polo. The main tweaks are under the skin where a completely revised set of engines are installed, including a petrol blue motion TSI 1.0 liter emitting 94 GKM, and adaptive suspension. There's also a new range of multimedia systems, which in the future will be fitted with mirror link to allow the touch screen to mimic the applications installed on your smartphone. Subtle interior and interior tweaks are aimed at VW's idea of evolution, not revolution. This means a familiar face if you've ever seen a Golf or indeed a Polo from 2009 onwards. Super frugal blue motion versions as well as the new petal blue motion, there's an expansive range of engines available. The petrol lineup starts with a 1.0 per unit available in a range of power outputs and extends to a turbocharged 1.4 litre TSI engine with 140 bhp. Diesel choices range from 1.2 to 1.6 litres in capacity and offer respectable economy figures. A blue motion version is available which is free to tax and can average an incredible 81 miles per gallon from its 1.2 litre diesel engine. In 2012 Volkswagen added the Polo Blue GT to its range, which features a 1.4 litre petrol engine with cylinder shutdown technology to save fuel and achieve a claimed 61 miles per gallon average. First deliveries of the revised Polo will begin in July 2014. Read on to find out more in our full Volkswagen Polo review. Performance, both petrol and diesel engines are offered and all are Euro 6 compliant. A DSG automatic gearbox is available with certain engines, something that's been available on larger Volkswagens, such as the Golf, for many years. This nifty gearbox uses two clutches to pre-select the next gear. It means that shifts are made quicker than the blink of an eye and feel seamless. Petrol engines The petrol range kicks off with a 1.0 litre engine that's available with 59 bhp or 74 bhp. It's not quick 062 miles per hour takes 15.5 and 14.3 seconds respectively but it is nippy around town. Even the 60 bhp is quick away from the lights and feels sprightly, while the fact it's a three-cylinder engine means fears a distinctive engine note. An 89 bhp 1.2 litre TSI adds a little more pep and is a good choice for those who drive on longer trips more regularly it will get to 62 miles per hour in 10.8 seconds. The star of the patrols is a 108 bhp 1.2 litre TSI engine. 
Despite its small size it offers great performance thanks to a clever turbocharger system. It powers the Polo from 06 2 miles per hour in 9.3 seconds and is a surprisingly sporty engine. Around town it's smooth and refined, but work the gears on the open road and you'll be rewarded with eager performance. Thanks to the turbocharger, overtaking is a breeze, too. All four petrol engines return close fuel consumption figures around the 60 miles per gallon mark. Joining the range later in 2014 is the new 1.2-litre TSI Blue Motion which will not only be more powerful than the diesel option but will also emit only 94 gkm of CO2 and have an official average fuel consumption figure of 68.9 miles per gallon. Greatest Volkswagen Polo performance figures belong to the turbocharged 1.4-litre TSI petrol engine in the Blue GT derivative, introduced in 2012. This features active cylinder technology act. This shuts down two of the cylinders when the car is being driven gently to save fuel helping the Blue GT achieve 60 miles per gallon and emit 107 gkm of CO2. Available with either a 6-speed manual or 7-speed DSG auto transmission, it can reach 130 miles per hour and has achieved 06 2 miles per hour time of 7.9 seconds. Diesel engines There is one diesel engine available, a 1.4-litre available with either 74 bhp or 89 bhp, both versions are capable of 67 miles per gallon. It's a smooth and quiet engine that's at its best on the motorway. In early 2010 a diesel blue motion version was first introduced which is powered by an advanced 3-cylinder 1.2 TDI engine with 75 bhp. Revised in 2014 and on sale at the end of the year, the diesel blue motion now has CO2 emissions of 82 gkm and an impressive fuel economy figure of 91.1 miles per gallon. Updated engines for 2014 The facelift in 2014 ushered in a total overhaul of the engine lineup. There's a pair of new 3-cylinder 1.4-litre diesels on offer with 73 bhp and 88 bhp. The lowest running costs come from the 1.0-litre Blue Motion TSI, though. You'll also have a choice of two different 1.0-litre 3-cylinder patrols making 58 bhp or 74 bhp, and a pair of 1.2-litre engines making 88 bhp or 108 bhp. At the top of the performance tree until the new GTI comes out is a 1.4-litre TSI petrol engine which develops 148 bhp and features cylinder deactivation technology to keep CO2 emissions down and fuel economy up. Handling Previous generations of the Polo have been great around town, but lacked substance when it came to longer motorway trips. This model changes that. With a tight turning circle and light steering, the Polo is still at home in the city, where parking is easy and three-point turns are fuss-free, but it's now far more proficient on the motorway, with a fine ride and a more substantial big car feel. Models with smaller engines can run out of puff, but the diesel and 1.2-litre TSI have the ability to cruise and don't feel strained at speed. Out on the open road. The Polo offers safe and secure handling. It corners precisely and with less body roll than before and has real get you and go about it. Equipment Volkswagen Polo equipment levels are split between the following grades S, SAC, say, SC Design, Sol and Blue GT. Standard Volkswagen Polo equipment The inch level S model comes with central locking, six speaker audio system. 5-inch color touchscreen, automatic post-collision braking system, Bluetooth, USB port, steel wheels, power steering, a CD stereo, DAB radio, height adjustable driver's seat, steering reach and height adjustment, electric windows and two ISOFIX child seat mounting points in the rear. SAC, as the name suggests, adds manual air conditioning. 
trim levels available from launch but now discontinued include Moda and Match. The say trim has been brought back in 2014 after being discontinued when the latest generation was launched in 2009. Say is likely to be the most popular trim level and comes with 15-inch alloy wheels, body-colored handles, electronically adjustable door mirrors, leather-covered gear lever, handbrake lever and steering wheel, trip computer, remote locking and alarm air conditioning and multimedia system with 6.5-inch color touchscreen. The new for 2014 say design trim adds 16-inch alloy wheels, a black glass radiator grille, front fog lights, tinted glass, upgraded upholstery, front sports seats, aluminium pedals and footwell illumination. The high specs will adds front and rear parking sensors. 16-inch Rivetsa alloys and a front center armrest with storage. The Blue Motion gets manual air conditioning, cruise control, a leather steering wheel and 15-inch alloys. The Blue GT, available only with a high-efficiency petrol engine, gets the same instruments and black headlining as the Polo GTI hot hatch along with special sports seats, a leather-trimmed steering wheel, rear parking sensors and a cruise control. Optional Volkswagen accessories depending on which trim level you go for, there are plenty of optional Volkswagen Polo accessories available including various wheel designs, adaptive cruise control, metallic paint, satellite navigation, heated front seats, climate control and electric glass sunroof. New for 2014 is a clever bit of kit called Mirror Link which transfers your Android phone display to the multimedia screen in the car and enables you to access apps too, unfortunately the technology is not compatible with Apple iPhone. Comfort, Volkswagen Polo comfort levels are good. It will seat four adults comfortably or, alternatively, two adults up front with three children in the back. Legroom is impressive for this size of car and there's a generous amount of shoulder and headroom. What will impress most passengers on the move is what isn't the noise. The Polo is an extremely quiet car. Engine on and stationary, it can barely be heard ticking over, while on the move road and wind noise is well suppressed, even at motorway speeds. Every detail of the Polo oozes quality, from the top end feel of the dashboard to the high-quality upholstery used for the rear seats. It's even evident in the excellent try that deals with lumps and bumps in the road surface in a manner that you might expect from a much larger car. Practicality, being a small car, Volkswagen Polo practicality isn't its strongest card but it's not rubbish either. The boot is inadequate, rather than exceptional size. With 280 litres on offer, it's big enough for a small weekly shop or a couple of weekend bags. The rear seats split on motor models and above and fold flat, which creates a useful load area for larger items. The boot gets a false floor, which makes the most of the space available. It means that items can be stacked on top of each other, or hidden from view. The false floor can also be collapsed down so that the entire boot volume can be used. Inside there's a large air-conditioned glove box and door bins for each of the four doors, one of which is large enough for a 1.5-litre bottle. Safety, Volkswagen Polo safety levels are top-notch. It was awarded 5 stars in the tougher Euron cap crash tests introduced in 2009 making it one of the first small cars to achieve the maximum rating. This new overall rating covers adult occupant protection child occupant protection, pedestrian protection and a new area of assessment, safety assist. All models have an electronic stability program ESP which helps keep control of the car in a skid. In addition to this, all cars have four airbags, ABS anti-lock brakes and a system to reduce whiplash injuries that Volkswagen calls Wax Whiplash Optimized Head Restraint System. ISO fixed child seat anchor points are also fitted as standard.
Update in 2014 In January 2014 the Polo was updated with post-collision braking fitted as standard to prevent accidents after an initial impact. There is also a raft of optional safety systems including a driver fatigue detection system, automatic cruise control and a city emergency braking system which stops the car dead at low speeds to prevent crashing. It's not clear at this point whether the new bits will affect insurance premiums, but whether suspect they may lower them a little. Reliability In the past, Volkswagen Polo reliability has been excellent. Although this new model uses many new components, there is little to suggest that it won't be as reliable as previous generations of the Polo. <laughs>